Hi Stitchers! Olivia here for a floss tube update. I think it's been about four months. Um, but um, I have plenty to show you. I Well, I have a good amount to show you. Actually, I, um, I have been stitching plenty, um, but I don't have any new starts and I don't really have any finishes. I have a couple like tiny finishes, but they're small and part of a bigger whip. Um, so no starts and no finishes, but I, uh, I do, I have some good progress to show. I have like five whips to show. So maybe this will be shorter than normal, I guess. I don't know. You know, um, I actually have an audience today. Um, my BFF Dusty, who is my dog is sitting across from me looking very uninterested in my video. I mean, I don't know. He likes to keep me company when I stitch. That's all that matters. He may not, might not be that into the stitching itself. Um, but yeah, so I think he's, he's falling asleep. It's cool. Um, okay, so I, I don't have much, um, I never really have life updates. I don't, what can I say? I'm getting my second shot on Friday. I'm excited about that. Um, I'm excited about the idea that a week after that I can just go out into the world and not, I guess I'll still, I don't know. What, let's not go into it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's just go to the stitching. Can we just do that? I'm too awkward for the rest of it. Um, okay, so I'm going to start out with my uh, Blackbird Designs. Um, this is my, my B BBD project bag. Um, there will be some crinkling in this uh, this one because there's cellophane in this bag. Um, um, Brenda and Laura had the uh, BBD Weekend Sal. And um, that gave me an excuse to work on my Blackbird's design with. Um, but I also, I did, in the last four months, I've, I've done more work on that. Um, so this is actually a piece where I have like three small projects going as one whip. So um, these are three projects from the Blackbird Designs booklet, Bells on Christmas Day. Um, I went to a retreat at the attic, I think it was called Primitive Traditions, um, in November of 20. 18 god that was 2018 um and um the bells on christmas day hadn't been released yet these were some small projects they came up with for that retreat and then they eventually put in that book um so um the they gave us some as kits that's why they're selling um so the first one i'm sorry this wasn't not quite as organized um but here's a here there okay so there's um the unbroken song which is a little, um, like a tiny sample that you put in the bottom of that box. And I have the box. I've painted it and everything. We did that at the retreat. And then there's a little pin cushion called Singing on Its Way. And then there's a needle book called Wild and Sweet. Um, and again, those are in that booklet. And so I've been working all three pieces on one piece of fabric, um, which is how they gave it to us. They gave us the threads and the fabric for all three uh, together. And um, during that weekend sale, I finished up the second one. I had already finished the first one. Um, so that little pin cushion. It's tiny, um, but it takes a while because there's all these color changes in it. Um, you know, a few stitches here, a few stitches there, but it's super cute. And now I'm just kind of working on the last one whenever I would have some leftover thread on like the second one, you know, I'd, I'd use the leftover on the third one. Um, these are, sorry, these are the threads. Um, and they're very pretty, very Blackbird, um, and I'm enjoying that. Uh, one of the other little kits they gave us, um, which is also in that booklet, is called Friendships Gathering. It's a thimble bag. I haven't started that one, so I'll probably start that one after I finish these. Um, that's the kit for, for that. So that's my Blackbird Designs update. And I think, yeah, I don't, I, I, I'm not going to guess how much longer it'll take me to finish it because I, I do always underestimate it with those little pieces that have a lot of colors. Um, another piece I've worked on since I last saw you um, is one of my Halloween pieces. This is Jenny Bean's Halloween Sampler. You know this one, I'm sure. The popular one. I think it's just, this is just classic. This is a classic design. Um, that's by Shakespeare's Peddler. I am stitching it on... Oops, the ticket's not on here. This I know this is a 40 count Lakeside Linens. Um, I want to say River Willow, but I'll double check that in a second here. Um, and so yeah, I, I made some good progress since I last showed this piece, and I'm getting near finished. I would say probably a few days left on this. Um, 
if you're like, why don't you just finish these once they're close to finishes? I'm really focused on progress. I'm focused on one piece in particular that I'll show you. Um, but I don't, I tend to like, um, I don't know, I guess it's a delayed gratification thing. I don't want to just finish the smaller pieces and then just have big pieces left. Um, so I try to kind of space it out and, um, but yeah, this is like a, this is what I've been going to for dark 13 stitching as well. So yeah, I love that one. Okay. Um, next is, um, I love this one. Um, this one is When the Calling Birds Sing by um, Exemplars from the Heart. I am stitching this as a sow with a few of my sister wives, Megan and Emily and Ellen. Um, this is that one. Um, this is out of print, but you can still find it. Um, no, I'm forgetting. I know um, Juliet Reflections framing, Stitching and Framing had this in stock. I don't know if she still has copies, but... It's a funky one. Um, I am doing my own conversion. I will, if I have it, I will insert a picture of where I was last time here. And this is where I am now. Again, I'm, I'm changing the colors as I go. Um, the colors that I enjoy. I've made some progress in the border and I stitched that whole building. And I love how it turned out. I am just, I'm just loving stitching on this. It's, I don't, it's also like kind of the, I don't know, the perfect combination of materials too. This is a 40 count platinum from Zweigart. Um, it's not dyed. Um, and that kind of, that makes it a very nice consistency and very easy to stitch on. Um, stitching in hand using the sewing method, which is how I like to stitch when I can, um, when I just have one strand. And um, fill, so it makes filling in that building a little easier. Um, I am someone who does not like big blocks of color and does not like fill-in, but I am growing to like it more. Um, sometimes tastes, you know, my tastes often change in stitching, and so I'm glad because there's so many pieces I love that have fill-in, and it gives me a little more hope. But that's where I'm at now. Um, I am working, well, I haven't worked on this probably in at least a month, but when I go back to it, I will keep putting in those cute little flowers, um, in the border and the work on the next building. my cute goat little bag. bag. <laughs> okay, and then next up, this is one I did not work on in 2020, and now I'm trying to get some good time in um, in 2021, um, because I love this piece, but it is a different kind of stitching than I normally do, um, and it's very slow for me. <laughs> so this is, I'm going to show it to you in a cue snap, because every all of my all the stitching is still within the key snap and it's just easier that way. This is Winchester Mystery House by Debbie Patrick Designs. Um, if you're new here, I love the Winchester Mystery House and I I live about, oh, I guess driving hour and a half, maybe a little less. Um, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful mansion. Anyway, this is where I'm at. Um, so I have done, um, I learned from my friend Allie to do the back stitching as I go. So I am close to up to date on the back stitching on what you see here. I still have, I need to do some in the roof here. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it definitely adds a lot. And just Debbie Patrick is a genius. Like, I don't know how she does this, but um, that's like the, the most fun is watching it come together. Um, it's a lot of color changes. Um, it's just like I said, it's, it's not what I'm used to, you know, it's kind of like a full coverage and um, I love it on the murky. Um, I, but here's what I'll say is that this is a 32 count Lugana. Um, if you've ever stitched on that, picture this plus 32 count Lugana. It is very dense um, and I often feel, I'm using two strands. Um, you kind of have to with this design because there's blends. And um, I, I feel like I'm sewing sometimes, like I feel like I'm sewing into fabric, um, except with the tapestry needle with the dull point. So um, so that makes it even slower. It kind of makes the thread fray a bit. Um, it can be, it, this. if I had stitched this on say like um, 32 count undyed Lugana, I feel like this would be a little quicker and smoother, but at the same time, I don't know that I would change it going back because I just really wanted the, the murky sky on this. So um, 
I really want this one on my wall. <laughs> I found a, a thrift store frame that I think is going to fit this and that'll look really good. So I have that vision in my head, but I do still have a good amount to go. Um, again, here's the design. So there's still ways to go. All that shrubbery. That's what I've been working on. Um, wow. So many greens in there. So that's my Winchester mystery house. I love it. Okay, so that brings me to my last whip, which is really the one I've been focusing a lot on. Um, I meant to check. I think I started it in 2016. I have to look back. It's my oldest whip. Um, I started this as a sal with friends back then. Um, I remember Emily and Tracy P and I think Sarah Shears and a lot of people were stitching at the time and I watched um, Stitching Friends finish it. Um, like Allie from Allie Stitching Studio and Davina. Um, I know, um, gosh, Abby Bell Stitch is working on it. Um, was, I think Leticia, Crafty, yeah, Leticia's working on it, from Crafty Curator. Um, Pam, Pam Reed's working on it. Lots of people. So you've seen this one before. It's The Big Red Ship of Life by Ink Circles. I'm going to insert a picture of where it was the last time I made a video. And here's where it is now. Oh my gosh. So it almost fits. There we go. Um, I am stitching this in DMC. The red is 498. And then um, I, the sails in like a gold color and the waves in blue. I got that idea from um, Tracy Horner, who is the designer. Um, her mom stitched it that way. Um, I think the, the pattern actually calls for glory on it. Um, but everyone is, everyone kind of chooses their own color. Um, I wish I kept track of how many skeins I've used because I just, it devours skeins of DMC. I'm stitching it in two strands on 32 count. Um, but I didn't keep track. I think the pattern says 29 skeins. Um, I've been stitching on this for years. I was almost at the halfway point um, at the beginning of the year. Um, and now I just have to do the sea creatures. Um, I saved those for last because I thought that would be fun. A fun way to do it. I knew if I saved the border, then I would end this project feeling like, oh, I'm sick of the border. And I, I did get really sick of the border. Um, okay, I can't hold it like that forever. Um, this is the border. I love how it looks. I think it's so cool and it really helps make this piece. But um, you, as you can probably imagine, it gets a little tedious. Um, so this project is pages um, four by four. So it's 16 pages. So I have, um, since the beginning of the year, I have stitched I am now five full pages in, and then I have just the sea creatures for three more pages. So um, I plan on having this done by the time I see you again. I'm thinking I might be able to finish it by the end of May, which would be very exciting. I want this one hanging up in my dining room so bad. Um, yeah, I'm, it'll be a wall hanging. Um, that's going to be like a stressful FFOing because I really don't want to mess anything up. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out the best way to do that. You really need to watch Allie from Allie's Stitching Studio. She showed hers in her last video and she has this amazing thing that she hangs it on, um, which I will never find something like that. <laughs> so, um, I just, I'll figure it out somehow. Um, I am stitching this on Charles Craft 32 count linen. Um, I was watching uh, Kitten Stitcher's last video. She had tips for um, linen. Oh, I found my Jenny Bean tag. It was River Willow. Anyway, um, and she, one of her tips was, you know, if you're if you're doing a big piece or maybe just in general, just invest in quality linen. Um, I really wish like 2016 or whatever Olivia had had taken, you know, heard that advice. Um, I think I got this. Um, no, I know I got this on eBay like a yard and a half for like $15 or something. My idea at the time was, oh, well, it's a big piece, so I should use a cheap linen. That was, I really, I really wish we could go back in time and tell Olivia to, to invest in a quality linen for a project this big. It's um, very coarse and it actually kind of frays. So you, you'll have little like pieces of linen just sticking out and, um, but hey, you know what? Make it work, right? And I did, and I've gotten through it, and it's it's real okay. Um, I stitch this in a Q snap because it's two strands, and you know, usually in a Q snap, you get the linen nice and taut, and it's not as big a deal. But um, if I could change one thing about that project, that would be it. But I love this design. I think it's one of my all-time favorite favorite designs in cross stitch. So 
it's been a fun project. I, um, I basically just use willpower to focus on it, but I'm not, I, I don't power through it. Um, I don't force myself to stitch on it. So my goal was kind of stitch on it as much as, po much as possible with a minimum of two weeks out of each month. Um, and I'd say somewhere between two and three weeks a month, I stitch on it. Um, usually more around three weeks. Um, anytime I get to a point where I'm like, oh, I don't want to work on that tonight. I, I don't. It's so, you know, usually I can switch projects, work on something else for a few days. Um, and then I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go back to it. So that's how I've gotten as far. It's really, it's taught me a lot of, you know, I've, it's been a good experience as far as like, okay, you don't, you know, yes, like you'll be like, oh, I want to start that. You'll watch someone else start something. Like, oh, I wanted to start that too. Um, and it's just a matter of being like, okay, well, I, I still can. I just don't have to do it right now because I'm focusing on this. So good exercise and some willpower in my hobby. Um, and it's been totally worth it because I'm going to love having it on my wall and it's going to feel so good to be done. I'm going to probably have a moment of like, what am I going to do with my life now? But um, it'll be amazing to have it done um, and to focus on some of my other whips, which I really enjoy. Um, I think, I don't know, the one I'm kind of craving to work on right now is my Luz Gonzalez. So I think I'm going to finish that and then move on to Luz. That's, that's my current plan. Um, so that is it for my whips, which brings us to, oh, um, I, let's see, it's been four months. Um, so considering that, I don't think it's a ton of haul. Um, I have kind of, I've been, I haven't been buying as much lately. I'm mostly, actually I haven't bought a chart probably in a couple months. Um, I do, though I do plan on buying a new one by a new designer called Hedgerow Stitching. Um, that will be my next purchase. Um. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm mostly investing in framing at the moment. I don't have any, well, I have one frame piece I'm going to show you, but that's not what, that was not one that was invested in. That was a, an estate sale frame. But um, I will have framed things to show you next time. And I have more things I want to frame. And framing is not cheap. Even if you do it yourself, if you want to buy a nice custom frame, it's not cheap. So um, that's kind of where I'm trying to keep my money at the moment. Um, but anyway, that's not here or there. Everyone's got different situations when it comes to shopping and all of that good stuff. Um, anyway, after I uh, made my last video and I showed you guys a um, haul from um, one of my favorite designers, Exemplars from the Heart or Exemplar Dames, go by both names. Um, and those, um, her patterns are out of print, but they're not necessarily hard to find. Um, and, um, one of you lovely people, um, recommended I check out Cecilia's sam samplers. Um, and I did, and, um, they have quite a few in stock. Um, I've been to that website before and I feel like I'd seen, um, that they have some before, but I think for some reason I thought that they were one of those websites that like lists stuff that they don't actually have in stock. They just try to get it. I don't know why I made that assumption. Maybe I heard it from someone. Um, but anyway, I this person told me about it. I went to the website. They had a ton of patterns, including some of my unicorns. Well, one main one that I will show you. And a couple that I, I wanted. I wouldn't call series unicorns. But anyway, why am I distinguishing? I don't know. Anyway, um, and so I thought, I'm just going to order them. And if I get some kind of notification that we don't have these in stock, no problem. You know, I didn't go with my hopes up. So I ordered um, three. <laughs> they had like... A good many and I wanted quite a few but I'm at a point with my um, kind of collection of charts from this designer that I'm like okay you gotta be realistic um, because her charts seem tend to have a lot of stitching in them and um, there's a lot of them I want to stitch so I, I stuck to three um, I purchased crows crows feast sampler I love crows blackbirds and ravens and patterns with them in them and I love this one it's funky um you would have just seen I recently saw Stephanie from um Lindy Stitches finish this one and I love it this is Dame's Boarding School and I love that I love the picture on the back <laughs> that's me and then this one was a this one was my one of my unicorns the gold house sampler I love this piece I really want to stitch that. It calls for weak dye works. Um, and it's, I find it hard to tell often from her pictures what exactly the colors look like. So I'll have to, I'll have to take a look at some point, but I really want to stitch that. 
So I was very happy to find those. So thank you so much to the viewer who suggested that. Um, I got really excited because Stacy Nash did a shop update for Etsy shop and she posted a lot of a lot of her patterns at P oh, sorry guys as PDFs, um, including some that are a little harder to find. And um, she had posted on um, Instagram prior to that asking people, you know, what would you like? And this, you know, what would you like to see? And there was one that I've been trying to find, um, Sarah Crick's pocket roll. Um, Suzette from the Primitive Stitcher had finished it and um, I fell in love with it. And I um, mentioned that one to Stacey Nash and that ended up being in our shop and I had to buy it. So she let everyone know that she had done this update, had PDFs, and then she had a 20% off sale. So I went over there and I bought myself two patterns, two, okay. When it comes to Stacey Nash, I always want a million, but I bought two. Um, so this is Sarah Crick's pocket roll. Um, I printed it out on nice paper at work, so that's why I wrote PDF on it, because I didn't want it to somehow get passed on anywhere, you know, in the in the shuffle. Um, I didn't want anyone to think this is a hard copy. So I got Sarah Crick's, and then I got the be this beautiful pomegranate sewing tray. I love that. That's so pretty. I really want to make that. Those are my two Stacey Nash patterns. And then Kathy Merrick um, has done a great job of adding PDFs to her shop. And um, she had a, there was a temporary, for one weekend she had 20% off of PDFs. So I bought Arithmetic Book. I've always liked this one. Um, there's three different patterns and I'm not sure. Every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, I want to stitch that one. I don't want to stitch that one. So maybe, you know. All three are on the list, but I think this is probably my top choice. Heidi Cran stitched this for Brenda um, for Christmas, and I thought it was so cute. Little lamb. And then this is one that I have been in love with since it came out. Um, but I never purchased it because it was a big block of stitching in it, and it's called Esther. And I was like, you know what? It's just so beautiful. I want to stitch this so bad. Um, I can deal with that block of, you know... I'll, I'll endure the big block of stitching. And then like I mentioned, um, I'm kind of liking it more now. So that's a good sign. And um, so I finally purchased this one. And then um, see, it's uh, Esther was Lori Brecklin's um, sheep. Isn't she beautiful? Magnificent. Um, I, I don't think I'm gonna put the date at the top. I mean, it's obviously still a Christmas piece, but I will probably leave that off. Um, so that's it for my haul, but um, since I last saw you, I had a birthday in March, and for my birthday, my sister bought me the MPIs so I could stitch Esther. So I am very excited about that. So I hope that she will uh, get started later this year. And then, just the other day, my friend Lucretia, Lucretia Crafts, um, on Instagram, sent these that she had made Elena and I. I guess she made them a few years ago, but they got kind of lost in the, the shuffle. And she sent these along. Aren't those beautiful? So those are the thing, the beautiful things I've acquired. I almost forgot my FFO. <laughs> so a little different angle here. Um, this is a shelf in my craft room. I'm still in the process of filling it. Um, I'm hoping to stitch more smalls maybe next year. Um, but I uh, just finished framing recently. Um, this is my Harriet Taylor by the Scarlet House. Um, I got this frame at an estate sale. It was gold. Uh, I got it for a couple bucks. It had like a, a busted canvas print in it. And um, I cleaned it up and painted it and waxed it. I did paint it in like a dark brown and then just kind of dusted some red paint over it. And um, while it was still wet, I used some dark wax on it. Um, and yeah, that's my beautiful Harriet Taylor. I love her. Again, I love that border. Um, it's on a piece of Lakeside Linens. I, I can't remember which one um, off the top of my head, but uh, it's in the called for MPIs. And um, I'm very happy that she is finally framed. She deserves it. So right now she's sitting on that shelf and I might hang her on a wall eventually, but I like her right there for now. Since we're already doing this kind of like awkward handheld standing angle, I thought, um, and you know, this video could probably use a little more meat on bones. I thought I would just go to some um, prior finishes real quick. Um, we are in my bedroom. Uh, this is a skinny wall. Um, my hamper is right below it. And uh, that's a closet door. <laughs> and this is my, um, I don't know, I guess a little house wall 
Um, I really, I don't like how my, how these are hung and arranged on the wall. I uh, do not have a talent for gallery walls. Um, and they bug me on a consistent basis. So these are going to move at some point. But anyway, we're going to, no one cares about that, right? We care about the stitching. So I just thought I'd show you these four. This is mm -mm, Moon, oh, Moonlight by, uh, Filigram. And, um, sorry, <laughs> I just had a moment in my head where I was like, Boy, it's a big forehead. Um, but this is Moonlight by Filigram. Uh, this is one of my earlier projects. It's from 2016. Um, and I just think that's adorable. I bought a custom frame for this, and I guess I measured wrong, did something wrong. So the margins are too big at the top and the bottom, and that bugs me too. So, um, But I paid for the frame, and so I don't want to reframe it. Anyway, um, this is uh, Moonlight Garden by Blackbird Designs. Um, the pattern has a verse underneath the scene, um, but I didn't include it. Um, but I love this piece. My friend Michelle uh, lent me the pattern. I'm so thankful to her. Um, I believe it's all the called for floss, but the fabric is from Extra Designs, um, Sampler Blue, which is one of my favorites. Um, and I stitched it on 46 counts, so it's pretty small. Um, I actually have since acquired the like mini quilt pattern for this from Blackbird Designs and I would love to do that one day, but uh, stars are not easy to applicate for me. <laughs> this is Hannah's House from the Work Basket. Um, if you haven't picked it up, I do like some funky patterns sometimes um, and this is one of them. I really enjoyed stitching this. I had this one professionally framed at Michael's and um, they did not do a great job which is why I tend to mostly um, frame my own things. But, um, you know, I still like it. Um, it's just, it, I understand, this is a challenging piece because there's a lot of satin stitch on the top and bottoms. And um, and it's very easy to tell when it's not framed straight. But anyway, I'm sorry, why am I picking out the flaws? I love the colors in this one. Um, and uh, yeah. And then this is another Blackbird. This is Witch No More from the Sisters booklet. I stitched that one on a 46 count as well, which makes actually, I think the top one is a 40 count. I'm sorry. This is a 46 count from X Jew Designs. Um, that's also the called for flosses. And I love that piece. This one's kind of a, a purpley gold one, um, which you don't see as much from them. I really do love their patterns with vibrant colors. Um, I know a lot of people love the soft colors and they're very pretty, but I do like a little oomph. <laughs> um, so that um, that's those pieces. I'm actually gonna, I have one of my most favorite pieces I've ever stitched is Cooper. Um, these are a couple of prints, um, but in between is Cooper. My idea is that this would be eventually be a bird wall. That's my TV down there. I don't know if this is where it'll be. Um, but, uh, yeah, I love Kathy Barrick's birds and, um, I hope to stitch quite a few more of them, but I just love this piece. Um, this was also framed at Michael's um, together with that other one. And uh, yeah, I think they did a good job on that one. Um, that's on a 40 count, um, mostly the called for DMC, but the letters and then a couple of the denser areas on the bird I um, converted to over dies. Um, but I just love that effect of the, um, the alphabet behind him. Um, yeah, so thank you for letting me uh, show you some past finishes. Um, those of you who have been here a while have already seen them but it's always nice to revisit. Um, all right, thanks. Um, I made a quilting video that I also uploaded a few days ago. Um, for those who are interested in quilting, thank you to those who watched um, and left nice comments. I really appreciate it. I hope all of you are doing well. And um, yeah, I'm excited for the, the next stage in this crazy pandemic life. Um, <laughs> So I, um, yeah, I'll be back in a few months with more stitching or maybe sooner. Um, I hope to go visit my friend Michelle in Sacramento, California, um, and rope her into maybe doing a little bit of an update with me. So we'll see how that goes. Um, all right. Well, take care, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.